DAO. Why does DAO speak at thus? Yes, thou will. Mean things. Today is 23rd April, a day celebrated as English Language Day. Pray, are we all then supposed to speak in Shakespeare in English? No, not at all. The English Language Day is celebrated on 23rd April. It coincides with William Shakespeare's birthday and World Book and Copyright Day. The UN first celebrated the English Language Day on 23rd April 2010. English is the mode of communication that enables people to understand one another regardless of their cultural and ethnical background. This is why English has become the world's lingua franca. More than 350 million speak English as their first language. 1,500 years ago, English was used by only three tribes. Now, it is the official language worldwide. 67 countries has English as its official language. Canadian English, UK English, Scots English and American English all have their own little idioms and jargons that differ largely from each other. It is quite interesting on how this incredible language can have so many variations and still be deliberated as a single language. Do you know English was a language that began on a small cluster of islands off the coast of Western Europe? It was because of colonialism that it suddenly spread across the world like wildfire. Have you heard people say, I can walk English, I can talk English, I can laugh English. It just means that they are fluent in the English language. Mm. Ever wonder, living in India and Hindi being our official language, why many of us still speak English? It is because it bridges the gap of speakers of different languages. It is spoken in offices, universities, workplace, schools and many more. It is also the official language of the sky as it is spoken by the pilots. Okay America, so the first word is pavement. Yeah, I didn't really get this one because I feel like we walk on the side so I just wrote sidewalk. Okay, that's very simple, but we'll go with that. And so the next one we got is bin. I wrote trash can because you put trash in it and it looks like a can. Okay, the next one is petrol. I wrote gas, but it's a liquid. Yeah, I just prefer gas. The next one is a push chair, such as for a baby. I put down stroller because normally when you use them, you're strolling. Pharmacy or chemist is a store for drugs, so I just put drugstore. This is lift, as in the lift inside the building will take me up to the third floor. For this one, I put down elevator, like elevate me up the building, elevate me to a higher level. We, the students of grade four, are here to give the differences between American English and British English. We may all speak in the same language English, but we have very different accents we speak with different vocabularies. Let's get started. In Britain, these are called crisps. In America, these are called chips. In Britain, these are called biscuits. In America, these are called cookies. In Britain, this is called lorry. In America, this is called a truck. In Britain, these are called sweets. In America, these are called candies. Those were few words that are used in American and British English. One language, but different words. Let's face it, English is a crazy language. There is no egg in eggplant as ham in hamburger. Neither apple nor bind in pineapple. English muffins were not invented in England as french fries in France. Sweet meats are candies, while sweet breads, which aren't sweet, are meat. Boxing rings are square. And a guinea pig is neither from Guinea nor is it a pig. 
Now I know why I flunked my English. I'm here to share a few interesting facts about the English language. So, here we go. The word alphabet comes from the first two letters of the Greek alphabet. Alpha, beta. The dot over the letter I and the letter J is called a superscript dot. The word uncopyrightable is the longest English word in normal use that contains no letter more than once. A sentence that contains all 26 letters of the alphabet is called a pangram. Petrichor is a word to describe the way it smells after it rains. I love the petrichor of a summer thunderstorm. Go is the shortest grammatically correct sentence in English. Find out some of the longest words in the English language. The original name for butterfly was Flutterby. About 4,000 words are added to the dictionary each year. The word girl was not initially used to refer to a specific gender. It used to mean child or young person, regardless of the gender. The first English dictionary was written in 1755. The oldest English word that is still in use is tongue. The word goodbye originally comes from an old English phrase meaning God be with you. English is a language which is continuously evolving. It has borrowed a multitude of words from Hindi. We, the students of grade 3, are here to enlighten you with some English words, which are, in fact, borrowed from Hindi language. The word shampoo is derived from the Hindi word shampoo, meaning to squeeze, knee, or massage. Jungle was derived from the Hindi word jungle, meaning a wild wasteland. It was used by English settlers in India to refer to any wild, untended, or uncultivated land. This word, pajama, was taken from the Hindi word pyjama. English is everywhere. Janet Maras. English language is known worldwide from all the languages that were collided. Don't be shy and show your greatness. You should learn showing for greatness. You go to any country. This is the language of everybody. Being expressed in different places, different accents in different places. We eat an apple. We want a ball. She got a carrot. We just a doll. He eats X. And F falls flat. G grows grapes. H hangs a hat. J keeps kittens. L lets flock. L makes a mistake. Oh. L needs dinner. O always orders. P just buses. Q queued up quickly. R rolled and draws. S poked slowly. One who serves the food is known as the waiter, even though it is the customer who does the waiting.
English is a funny language, but it can be understood through tough, thorough thought though. Found missing, act naturally, seriously funny, pretty ugly, oxymorons are the most confusing things ever. Let's eat grandma. Let's eat grandma. Oh, a single comma can stop you from being a cannibal. Wishing you all a happy English day. Enjoy the language is all I can say.